Coast's most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Let's start with the tropics. So we have a lot going on out there. Helene now no longer exists. We do have Isaac. It's a hurricane. It was a category two hurricane, but now it is weakening. It's not impacting any land except for it could bring some strong swells to the Azores. We also have Joyce, a tropical storm that's going to turn to the north and stay a fish storm. A system could develop behind that one, but that will eventually likely start to turn to the north as well. So our attention is on this pesky area over here, the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Something could form there and it could potentially say bring us rain or more moisture by the end of the week and into the weekend. But there are a lot of uncertainties right now. First and foremost, it hasn't even developed and we need that low pressure system to actually develop over the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico before models can get a good read on this system and let us know how strong it could be and where exactly it will go. So yes, some models are hinting that something could go into the Gulf and start to form. It's just too early early to know exactly where it will go and how strong it will be if it even develops. Right now, the Hurricane Center is saying it only has a medium chance of developing within the next seven days. Just know it's something that we are watching very closely and we will let you know if it's something that we need to be concerned about. But for now, we're just keeping an eye on the warmer weather. So overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the lower 70s and then we're going to warm up on our Sunday. Highs near 90 degrees, which is about five degrees warmer than what's normal for this time of year. And with the humidity, it's going to feel more like 97 degrees in the afternoon. We will have some passing showers, but we have about a 30% coverage isolated to widely scattered. So if you're looking to go to the beach, I do think it's good beach weather on our Sunday. Just be aware there is a moderate risk of rip currents, so please be careful if you're trying to get in the water. Meanwhile, our Jags are going to be in Houston. They'll be dealing with temperatures in the 90s and an air quality alert. So if you know anyone that's going to be in Houston cheering them on, let them know that they'll have higher than normal ozone levels, which could be uncomfortable for people with asthma or other respiratory issues. Back home, our temperature is near 90, but then we're going to drop down through the 80s later on in the work week. And so get back to what's normal for this time of year, middle 80s. Rain coverage staying about 20 to 30 percent, and then we'll have to watch the weekend for whatever happens in the tropics. But speaking of the tropics, it's not something fun to talk about. So I do want to talk about something fun, a countdown. Halloween is only 33 days away. We turn back the clocks in 36 days and Thanksgiving only 61 days away. Here's a look at your most accurate seven day forecast again. Tomorrow will be warm even Monday and Tuesday, a warm start to the work week, and then we could have increasing rain coverage as we head into next weekend. Thank you.